All right, so there seem to be some interesting back and forths between Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden on health care. Uh, we don't really know what Joe Biden's planned health care proposal is. All it seems to be is, I want to keep Obamacare in place. That, of course, is because his entire career at this point is basically just chalked up to being Barack Obama's vice president. That's you know what people are voting for him based on. But honestly, after hearing this, I'm really questioning this guy's mental capacities at this point and his functionality, mentally speaking, because... He doesn't seem to be all there at this point, and a lot of it just doesn't seem coherent. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to this. Read the plan. I'm not criticizing Bernie. It's just everybody should know. The Medicare plan that will replace existing Medicare, it's not the same plan. It doesn't mean it's not good or bad or different, but it's different. It's not the same plan. And it's like, you know, I got criticized for saying that, you know, uh, under his plan. And Bernie's been the only guy completely honest about saying it's going to raise taxes to the middle class. He's been straightforward about it. He's gone out and he said it. But the idea that this isn't a, it has to be, it's a different plan. Everyone will get off the plan that exists now and get on another plan under Bernie's Medicaid for all plan. It's Medicaid for all. It's a different plan. Is and so it doesn't mean it's good or bad. It just means it's different. And the point I was making before that should be reemphasized, under the proposal I have, you'd be able to keep your insurance with your employer if your employer still is prepared to pay for the insurance. The idea that somehow there's going to be any change, and he says, no, you can't have any private insurance if you're there. It's a, it's, it's a legitimate position to take. I just disagree with it. I disagree with it. Question so, uh, uh, you know, when I say his mental faculties don't really seem to be functioning, you know, well, you kind of see what I'm saying. So, for example, back here, he says that, you know, I'm not saying it's good, bad, or different, but it's different. Not the same plan. It doesn't mean it's not good or bad or different, but it's different. Wait, what? It doesn't mean it's not good or bad or different, but it's different. Okay, that's the first red flag. It says that doesn't mean it's good or bad or different, but it's different. But but you just said it's not good or bad or different. You just but then you say it's different, and he seems to be kind of a, a clusterfuck all over the place kind of thing. And then you know he he goes on to lie. Let me see if I can find the part. The middle class. He's been straight. The only guy completely honest about saying it's going to raise taxes. The middle class. He's been straightforward about it. So that's lying. That's what's known as lying by omission, of course, because. Uh, yes, Bernie Sanders would raise tax on the middle class, but what you don't understand is it's an overhaul of the system, meaning that you're no longer paying premiums, co-pays, and deductibles. So uh, I believe the study showed that the average family would save $5,000 uh, a year because instead of paying you know, bloated premiums that are being paid to these ridiculous insurance companies, uh, you use uh, you know, your tax for medicare and medicare i believe has like one of the lowest uh overhead uh percentages and costs so it's like less waste and uh you know more of it's actually used towards actual health costs in terms of when it actually comes to you know uh the different things that are spent when it comes to actual health care costs when it comes to actually doing you know surgeries and and things things of that nature so he's lying there by omission which is obviously you know bad of course and then it's also odd when he says here that he says that it's not Medicare, it's Medicaid for all. It just means it's different. And the point I was making before that should be reemphasized, under the proposal I have, you'd be able to keep your insurance. The idea that somehow there's going to be any change, and he says, no, you can't have any private insurance. be reemphasized. Plan. Medicaid for all now and get on another plan under Bernie's Medicaid for all plan. It's Medicaid for all. It's a different plan. And it's so it does. Okay, so <clears throat> here's here's where another sort of uh, this is probably I would say the second one where it's like okay the mental faculties. I'm not. I can't tell whether or not the mental faculties are not working and he's not recalling that it's a Medicare for all plan. It's not a Medicaid for all. Medicaid of course is like the uh, it's basically the state-run uh, health care that's given to poor people. Although I think that, you know, not enough people qualify. Like, you have to be in extreme, extreme poverty to actually qualify. 
but uh, you know, get some federal, some state funding, and Medi Medicare is the national coverage. It's given to mainly old people. So uh, I don't know if that's like he genuinely doesn't remember or if what he's trying to say because. I know that I guess Medicaid has a couple of extra services that come with it than Medicare and that Bernie's Medicare that he would be giving has some extra benefits to it than what's what regular Medicare seems to have. So I can't exactly tell what's going on specifically there, but you know, he just seems to be weird and the the, the sort of mental aspect and just the functionality doesn't really seem to exist with Joe seems to be all over the place saying that, oh, you know, I'm not saying it's good, bad, or different. I'm just saying that it's different. But you just said you weren't saying that it's different. And he starts saying Medicaid for all. And again, I can't tell if he said that uh, consciously, like actually that's what he's trying to say, or if he just it was slip of the tongue, I don't know. But he just doesn't seem to be able to say any coherent sentences. And then, uh, you know, he's also lying by omission about Bernie's plan. So typical Joe.